Good morning. Guess what? It's another beautiful day here up north. Completely gray. The browns and the gray and the greens and the white are just gorgeous. There's just a little bit of a breeze here today. It's not too cold. Every once in a while, my life just speeds up. Not in a bad way. It's, uh, how do I explain this? It's like the fast forward button gets pushed and I go through all sorts of intense healings and it's just, <clears throat> it, it's crazy, but it, it feels really good. And I'm in that period right now. I was talking to my partner last night about, um, some of the, I'm not, not really dreams, but some of the things that I'm being called to do, uh, like full moon gatherings. Uh, I was talking about having a craft night. Um, I've never really done a sharing circle before, but it's been on my mind a lot to have a, a sharing circle and I need a space to do this. And he was saying, you know what, his place isn't really set up for that. And it's, it's not. And he was suggesting the community center and that's, that, that's no, I need my own personal space. I need it cozy. I need warmth. I need safety and security. I need my crystals and my feathers and my wood and my rocks. And like, I need me in my healing space because that's what I, that's what I'm here to help facilitate, right? Healing. And sure, we can meet in a community center, but that's just going to be a gathering. It's just going to be a meeting. I don't, I don't know that I won't feel safe and secure there. You know, I won't feel like I can be who I truly am. So that's, there's nothing wrong with that either. So <clears throat> uh, we were just laying and talking about it and, and it just flashed like an idea just flash inspiration flash to me and that's like usually spirit led right he has a trailer coming up for rent december 1st you know what i need to manifest renting that trailer from him you know um okay so i'm gonna push the pause on that and uh this morning i was doing my clearing and i need to clear my blocks to abundance i've been living in scarcity mindset I've been living in poverty for 24 years now and this needs to end because I have a purpose and it's I feel the energies once again just swirling around me like the energies are potent and it's now is the time to start taking action it's you know, I'm getting my life in order. I'm getting my legs underneath me. Yeah, I know I'm scattered and I'm all over the place, but maybe this will be the last time. You never know. So, like, I'm ready to take action now. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so, I was exploring the blocks to abundance. Because when I say the word abundance, you know, I, I tighten up. So, I called in my council and I called in the ants um, there are like five or six <clears throat> women who who uh, we sit in a circle and we often drum together haven't for actually a long time but they have been showing up again so I called them in and then I called in Amata and Nayeli Alethia who are my higher selves and we, we were in this circle drumming and this little piece of land showed up in, in the middle of our circle. It like seriously was like a foot by a foot, just like a square foot. And I went into it and explored it and it was, it was my land and it was parched and nothing could grow in there. It was in the middle of a drought and then I didn't really show up, <clears throat> but there was a couple, and I think I was, like, I am don't know how to explain this, like, I didn't see me as myself, but it was still me, right? So there was this couple, and they were trying to, this was their piece of land, and then this turned into, like, an acreage, right? And they were standing there, and they were saying, this is hopeless, like, there's just, 
there's nothing we can do here anymore. It's, it's the, we can't grow anything. It's just rock hard. They had a shovel and it was just like, literally like trying to dig into rock. It's drought, it's famine. We don't have money to move anywhere. We are literally trapped here. We can't grow any food. Like this is hopeless. Like, like we can't give up because there's nowhere to go and there's no money to go anywhere. But like, what are we supposed to do? And it was just such so sad and there are so many people feeling that way right now and that's kind of how I felt my whole life right like just trapped by my circumstances and and then I got the image of like that uh this couple I have been salting the earth have been salting the potential salt kills the earth nothing can grow when you salt the earth absolutely nothing and it's like oh you know that's that's a whole nother <clears throat> interesting uh, dimension to this whole thing that I'm exploring in abundance right like I am salting my potential I'm I'm killing it and then we were just standing there and I, I we saw this light coming down and at first I thought it was the sun, but it was, it was pure light, like pure radiant light. And it was bringing us hope. It was bringing us wisdom. And suddenly the man says, oh, I know what we can do. I know what we can do to start. And we are going to start off with literally one square foot. And we have an amazing well. We have a hose. It's like a deep, deep well. We will never run out of water. We are going to flush the ground. So he got out his hose and we started flushing the ground. And in that one little square foot, we planted a potato plant, you know, and a potato plant one potato plant can produce many potatoes and there was some food and and then it's like okay well what can we plant that works better in salty soil like well we recondition the earth and and by the end of this vision there was a beautiful house on this property it was lush and green there were big trees and they had an amazing market garden and there were people and it was community and it was like wow Oh my gosh, that was so amazing. So that was that. And then I, so I cleared that. And then I just wanted to get in touch with Blue Ed Molly, my little business that I have been trying to work on for many, many, many years. And it's never gotten, hasn't really gotten anywhere. And I really want to get in touch with her and, and, you know, get to know the spirit of Blue Eyed Molly. And so this time, um, I called on the standing tall ones, the grandmothers, who I'm like, they're surrounding me right now. And I again called in Amata and Nayeli Alethea. And then the ancestors, some ancestors wanted to come as well. And we stood in a clearing and it was dark. And I, I kept kind of getting flashed okay me and Ayeli and uh Amata were kind of standing in a triangle in the circle yeah and I kind of kept getting flashes or visions of like we're looking into a crystal ball and I don't have any experience with that sort of thing right so I thought that was interesting and there were like flashes of like Okay, sorry, uh, something happened on my phone. Uh, there were like, I kept getting a, a vision of a, maybe like a Star of David or something on the ground. And then all of a sudden there was a bright light on the ground and it was like, we were standing there and looking into it and I realized, oh, it's a portal. Okay, well, <laughs> portals, let's let's just hop in. So we, we jumped into the portal and the three of us went down and uh, we landed and it was just, just bright light like in the middle of the earth just bright light I'm like okay this is interesting and then that morphed into uh, a tumultuous seaside scape uh, it was very very stormy like dangerously stormy 
it was completely gray. The water was, the waves were just crazy. It was not, not safe, right? And I saw a marker on a stone that has some sort of significance. Don't know what it is yet, but it was, uh, it was like a white flag, but the flag part was made out of white metal. And then the thing anchoring it into the stone was also metal, but it had some round balls or something attached to it. So I'm not sure what that's all about. And then I was just, uh, it was like tilting in a really weird way and it didn't seem realistic. Right. So then I asked Eagle if he would, take me up so I could look at it from afar and (laughs) this has never worked for me but it did today so eagle took me up (laughs) and it was uh uh one of these globe things like that you shake right so that's why it was like tilting weirdly because it was a a globe like I hope you know what I mean it was and it's like okay that's interesting and then like it was just we went far up and I saw the globe and then and then uh, I saw a picture kind of almost like a child had drawn it of the face of a house I wanted to see where the globe was in but I didn't see that I just saw a picture of the front of a house and it was like a little bit had an atypical roof line and looked at that for a while wondering if I was going to go in or something and then it was uh stuck to a fridge I was like, oh, okay, this is all interesting, right? And then I was like, hey, Amata, what's going on here? And then she walks into the room, opens up the fridge, takes something out. <laughs> and then me, Nayeli, and Amata are sitting at her kitchen table. And suddenly I just find myself talking, you know, like, I need a business partner. I, I need help getting this off the ground. I need someone to help me stay focused. I need someone who can just help me start this business and I I don't think I need a business partner I I need a mentor I need a very wise woman to to help me to get this started and then I just kept talking you know I need a brick and mortar you know it's time for blue-eyed Molly to really really start to to get established she needs she needs a base she needs a home base and you know that's part of me being a Taurus I need stability and security and so does my little business she needs to be in one space where she will not have to move where she knows she's going to stay for a while until something better comes up because we are talking about building a little like sort of one room retreat center but that's in a that's a couple of years and Blue Eyed Molly needs to start now like in seriousness in earnestness she needs to start now so I was just telling telling my higher self these things and then um and then we flashed to the three of us were in front of the trailer that's going to be rented out or it's going to be vacant for december 1st so i don't know what's going to happen if spirit uh if spirit wants me to have sort of a a home base for blue-eyed molly then it will happen it would be pretty big for me i'm gonna have to uh calling in some serious abundance so this is me putting it out there putting it out there that I need uh, to find some rent money get blue eyed Molly started set her up and have a healing room and and uh, have sharing circles and a craft circle and and uh, full moon gatherings and just have a really really safe space there's lots of hurting people around here and there's also really great people around here. So we need to start gathering together and encouraging each other during these hard times. Oh, I'm just feeling all chatty. And it's just, it's, I have been meditating now in the mornings for, I don't know, two, three weeks, maybe. Uh, it started because I was just absolutely drowning and I woke up at I don't know four o'clock one morning and my mind or spirit someone said you must start meditating absolutely must so it's like okay so I started that day and yes I do need to meditate and it's it's such wonderful medicine for me it's calming me down it's grounding me it's focusing me you know my 
my uh, ups and downs are, I don't think as severe. I'm, I have more physical energy sometimes, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, sometimes I don't like, I don't like talking about all the good things that are happening because like the next day I will just be like unable to move again and just life is, my life is just crazy. Any hoozles, I am off to start my day turning a trailer into a home for some, for a family that can be their safe haven. And I don't know, we'll see what else the day holds. Okay, I love you all very much. So just to reiterate, I am looking for someone to help me get my little business up and running in whatever fashion that looks like. I don't know right now. I need someone to help me with my website. I need someone to just help me make a bit of a plan. I need someone to check in with, have like consistent meetings, talks, whatever. Uh, I need someone to work with me on manifesting what um, is my true soul purpose. And I need a building for Blue Eyed Molly whatever that looks like. And I need it real soon because Spirit is saying it's time to start. Okay, love you all. Much, 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 much love. And I am holding space for all of you who are not feeling all the joy that I'm feeling right now. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.